we're not seeing too many issues on the roads here. You see it's just a one lane road each way, but we are starting to see people come here and park and start making their way into the speedway, which you can see uh, in that shot there. But what's really interesting about what's going on here is that People are camping. So people have been here as early as Saturday. Some got in last night. We were one of those that camped out here uh, last night to beat the traffic. And a lot of people are telling us that they're really looking forward to everything that the Speedway has to offer. This is going to be one of the areas that has the longest totality uh, in Ohio. So the Speedway is offering camping through tomorrow morning. We actually camped last night because we were worried about that traffic. And as you can see here, we weren't alone. Dozens of people decided to avoid traffic, get here early. More people are expected to arrive the closer we get to the eclipse. People here have traveled from all over the region, from Pennsylvania, Virginia Beach, and Michigan. We talked with some of those campers a little bit ago. Uh, I come to see my cousin. I told him in 2017 we're going to see the eclipse, and we're here seven years later. Oh, this is science. This is history. You have to see that. If you're close enough, you should come see it. We've got kids around that will never see this again in their lifetime. I seen a partial from Michigan when it went through, uh, like, the Tennessee area about in 2017, but, you know, I'm excited to see the sun completely turn off. Yeah. <laughs> And as you can see, the sky is looking pretty clear right now. This is what we've seen throughout the day. It's warmed up. It's a beautiful day here in Dark County. And what's really cool about the event here is during the eclipse, during totality, they are going to have a fireworks show for the last two minutes of totality. So that's something a lot of people here are telling us they're looking forward to. And I know it's something I'm looking forward to as well. Who's seen fireworks at three o'clock in the afternoon, Liz? You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and click subscribe to get notifications and stay in the know.